everyone. Welcome to this video. I want to talk about a very important subject relating to spiritual awakening and why many people remain eternal seekers while others become finders of truth. And this has a lot to do with the subject of giving deep inner validation to your own insight, spiritual revelation, and experience. Now let me get very practical here. If I would put a candle, a burning candle in front of you and ask you to put your finger into the flame, it will hurt, it will burn. I'll meet you the next day and I'll ask you, hey, why didn't you put your finger into the flame of this burning candle? And guess what? You will tell me, no way, I'm going to do that. And I'll ask you, why? And you'll tell me, well, of course I won't do that. I tried that once and that's enough. It's enough to understand that it burns. I don't need to experience that again to know that. Now, why am I giving this example? Because how many of you watching this video have experienced the depth of silence, the depth of your being, the fact that you are made of light, the fact of oneness, the fact that there is only one true self. However, do you have the same level of conviction about that experience as you have about the burning candle? Or do you feel you need to experience these ex spiritual experiences again and again and again in order to feel that you're somehow in touch with the spiritual reality? Now this is a very important and crucial point for somebody who wants to actually establish in a solid spiritual awakening. And actually this is one of the reasons why many people, even after 20, 30 years of earnest and, and, and real and honest spiritual seeking, remain seekers and others become finders. Here's the key. You have to give full validity to your inner subjective experiences and revelations and insights. You see, we were conditioned as a culture, as a society, for who knows how long to validate, to give validity only to external sensory experiences, only things that we can touch and feel with our physical senses. And we were taught not to give validity or to give very, very minimal validity to everything that's happening inside of us. And therefore, when we have spiritual revelations of the inner truth of our being, that we are made of light, of pure eternal silence, that we are timeless, beyond time and space, that there's only one, that there's only one, that there's complete oneness, that there's universal intelligence, that we are beyond the physical body. We don't give, give these um, experiences, insights, the same um, totality of validation. And that has nothing to do with the fact that these experiences are not deep enough or not strong enough. It has nothing to do with that. People have unbelievably strong spiritual revelations and experiences, and yet they still remain addicts of experiences. They just wait for that other additional experience to become awakened. But let me tell you something. The truth is always there. You don't need to experience it again and again and again and again, you see? In the same way that you don't have to again and again and again put your finger into the burning flame of a candle to understand that it hurts. You experience it once and you give it complete validity. And therefore the knowing is fully established and embodied within you, within your cells, within your body, within your body of knowing. You see, the same level of validity is what's required of you also in terms of your internal revelation, insight and experience. When you open up in meditation, when you open up in spiritual inquiry to a certain truth of your being, 
don't try to capture or grab or hold on to the experience. Don't become addicted to experiences. Every experience is bound to come and to disappear, to come and to go. Whether it's mild, whether it's incredibly strong, that really doesn't matter. The truth that's revealed to you, that's what matters. And the validity that you give to that truth, you have to back up what you've seen, even if it's not present experientially. You see, this is the key. This is the key. Try it and you will see. Give full validity to what you know, to what you've seen, and you will see how spiritual awakening establishes itself within you without any dependency on experiences. And this is exactly what makes the difference between somebody who's an eternal seeker and will remain a constant seeker and somebody who's an eternal finder, you see? If it's about stopping to search for constant acknowledgement, constant recognition, constant validation through recurring experiences, you don't need that. You don't need that. Give your subjective inner experience the same totality, the same level of validity that you give your sensory physical experiences and you will see how truth starts to embody itself within you. So thank you for listening to this video and I hope that these words um, ring true within you and help you in your own journey of embodiment of truth. So if you like this video, if you found it useful, uh, please subscribe to my YouTube channel and also visit my Facebook page and like it. I post their ongoing posts and videos about spiritual awakening and numerology. That's it for now and see you in the next videos.